Tech Trends reporter Gabe Slade here. You are seeing me through our quadcopter for our drone. We brought it out today for a very special shoot. I am going to test out Tesla's new autopilot feature. It lets the car drive by itself. This is a huge deal. Tesla is really pushing forward automotive technology into the future. So let's hop in and test it out. We drove the Tesla out to a pretty low traffic area out in rural Marin, nothing around but cows. I wasn't quite ready to try this out on a busy highway. When you're driving, you can activate the autopilot feature at any speed. You just tap the cruise control lever twice toward you to engage it. So now I can lift, I can take my hands off the wheel. Oh, it's so weird. Oh, it's so weird. Once you're an autopilot, you can take your feet off the pedals. You control the speed just like cruise control, tapping the lever up and down. You can deactivate the autopilot feature at any time and regain control of the car by pressing on the brake. Okay, but there's a turn coming up. Oh, there's a turn. It's gonna turn? It was really freaky as curves in the road approached. It's doing it, it's taking the turn. Oh my God, that's amazing. It just, it feels like you're on like a ride, like a Disney or something, like a roller coaster, yeah. like just something that's on a track that knows where to go. One lane country roads are scary enough. Driving them without your hands on the wheel and with a car coming your way in the opposite direction, that really pushed me. My instinct was to take back control of the car, but I resisted. So a car's coming towards me, my hands are off the wheel, and that is freaky, but you just get used to it. If a car drifts into your lane or dangerously cuts you off, the autopilot will know and keep you safe. It has automatic emergency braking. It has side collision avoidance to avoid that car coming in or it would apply the brakes if it needed to to, to avoid an accident. This is the first real world legit example of a self-driving experience. For now, it's intended mostly for highway driving. It requires clear lane markings. It's not designed for making tight turns in a city on its own. I asked Alexis, how does this work? Uh, 360 sensors around the vehicle, so these little dots that you're seeing, they're all the way around the car. Um, a long range radar in the front of the vehicle that senses a few hundred feet in front of the car and a forward facing camera that acts as the eyes of the car, that's what's seeing the lanes on the road. And then uh, separately the cars also have high precision mapping in them, so the systems are actually learning and improving. Alright, so this is a pretty amazing feature, I mean I'm driving hands free. Um, it's slowed down on turns, it's taking them well. Um, one guy kind of veered into our lane and, and the Tesla kind of moved about a foot over as it passed and then moved back. I mean, it definitely is sensing everything and I feel very safe. Um, but you know, with this, you wouldn't like take a nap or get in the back seat. I mean, kind of need to think of it as like cruise control. Um, it's, what'd you call it, a, a, a driver? It's, it's a driver con uh, convenience feature. So we still um, expect drivers to be aware and present. 